What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Internet slash The Gathering slash Are You? Slash Yes, I Am. And we're just going to do a regular draft today. There's no stipulation. As far as I know. Yeah, if you guys want to come up with stips in the chat, that would be awesome because... Uh, one of the steps we have is chat picks. You pick from the top three. So, like, you guys would suggest a bunch of steps, and then we vote on them, and I would have to pick from the top three of them. So, if you guys want to do that, you know. God, I hate having to pick, like, a... I hate picking a mox over a regular card because you don't get a regular card. Like, I would definitely lean toward one of these two. I think I value Jitte higher than a lot of people, but I think it's very, very good. But I'm going to take the Mox Emerald. It's also a, a good start for our Mox Tribal deck as well, so. Alright, nothing really broken here. We just did multicolor. Didn't we just do multicolor only, like, yesterday? Oh, no, I actually did have one. Okay, I just forgot to put it in there. Right? Yeah, I totally forgot to put it in there. Cool, we'll just do that one next then. Okay. Anyway, what do I pick here? I have no idea. It's funny because these two are my least favorite archetypes. I don't like burning because it's like, I don't know, it's so much work. I gotta get creatures with four, with five or more power. I gotta draft artifacts to, to, to play the lands. However, <clears throat> that's just me. I'm actually gonna take Sakura Tribal to here. Hmm. Hmm. It's Arbor Elf. I like Arbor Elf. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this pack isn't too exciting. I do like Nissa World Waker, but I bet Nissa comes back. Alright. <clears throat> got a Blightsteel Colossus. Ain't nobody got time for that. Search for Morrow is good. Are we just mono green? Are we just doing the mono green deck? Yeah, probably. Thrag Test good. All these green cards I'd be fine with. <laughs> Pivot to Tinker. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I kind of like search here. Nissa seems best. This is always unexciting to me. This Nissa just doesn't do much. However, Master of the Wild Hunt is always very exciting to me. Little Scoochie, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We could also take uh, Promo Command or Savannah. Savannah keeps us open. I think it's just Master, though. I really like Master. I mean, you do want creature based ramp, but you can also take a search for tomorrow, and it's totally fine. It's not like you have to choose between one or the other. I like Through the Breach, and I like Mirror Battle Sphere. Hmm. This is a tooth and nail target. This lets us do some degenerate things if we get some emeralds and some Ulamogs. Through the Breach is just a busted card. Oh yeah, you guys are just like... Now it's just like a... Now it's just noticeable. <laughs> yeah, you guys just see a little, a little thing and you're like, oh, it's clearly a knife. Yeah, I'll take Through the Breach. I'm alright with it. This makes any Eldrazi just so much better. Garrick or Tireless Tracker? I'm going to go with Tireless Tracker here. Turn two Tireless Tracker into land is pretty good. Is that a thing we can do? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we can go turn one land, elf, mox, turn two Tireless Tracker, play our land. Yeah, we can do that. Ooh, Verdant Catacomb. Actually, Skull Clamp is probably insane, right? Yeah, let's take the Skull Clamp.
I mean, I like what we got here so far. You ain't terrible. You're not my favorite. But it's it's either that or one of these red cards, I presume. Could take Pack Rat. Man, I'm actually surprisingly disappointed at Mike just not showing up. That's really, that's really sh shitty. <coughs> what up, Josh? Good to see anybody. Oh, Xenoghost. That's actually okay for Arthur the Reach deck. Yeah, you managed to hurt yourself with the, with the hammer. The knife is just asking for trouble. It's true. It's true. Have I spoken to him yet? No, he's not awake. He's still sleeping. <laughs> so he could be dead. No, he's not. <clears throat> I heard him go to the bathroom. Um, I just like Night of Night of Autumn here. <clears throat> it's a versatile. Well, maybe it's Lightning Greaves. No, it's not Lightning Greaves. I don't care about Lightning Greaves. I'd rather just have the versatility of Night of Autumn. Maybe if I send some ribs to your house, I'll wake up. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys are making memes and stuff about it, but the problem is that, like, he... It's actually a, a bigger issue than that. Like, it's just a matter of, like... <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm not going to get into it right now, but it's not really... I don't know. It is something that, that bugs me, because there's, there's a lot more behind it than that. Oh, the rag test came back. <clears throat> what a what a world. What a time to be alive. Oh, Savannah for our for our night? Alright. Seems reasonable. Oh, Tristani. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Drag test come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, but I need the thought you gave me. Anything? Anything? Oh, Mana Crypt. That's pretty good. What's Mana Crypt here? Am I insane for buying this just to make my video card quieter? Uh, no. And here's why I'll say no. <clears throat> I'm a big proponent of buying things that make your life either more efficient or more pleasant. Or more comfortable. Right? So if it's something that you're going to utilize or notice the difference in every single day... I'm a big proponent of changing those things, right? So, like, I'll buy things, um, kind of like silly things, but, like, they're things that I'll use every day or, like, they're things that are, like, that'll make one thing I do every day easier or more convenient, and I'll 100% buy those things because it's just about, like, I'm a big fan of, like, efficiency and, uh, and, con and convenience when it comes to, like, regular things that I do. So if, like, every day, if you're listening to that, like, to make your computer quieter every single day... <clears throat> If that's enough of an impact for you, then I would definitely get it. Yeah, we're just getting tooth and nail. And we're going to hope all the big things come around for us. Oh, that's a big thing. Ooh, that's another big thing. And we have Through the Breach. Through the Breachums, which is probably better than Avenger here because of the Annihilator. And we can still tooth and nail for it if we want to. So, yeah, we're definitely taking that guy. Lotus Cobra. <clears throat> Progenitus. That's a tooth and nail target. We can just put that dude into play. Hmm. 
Hmm. I do like Lotus Cobra, though. We don't have any two drops. I also like this Garrick a lot. I think it's probably Garrick. Lotus Cobra's pretty replaceable. can't live without you great thank you so much pernicious dude i like this decorate it's gonna be a good day yeah it's all right i'm okay with it so far got a little bit of red got a little bit of green i'm looking for uh maybe like a taiga or a plateau two trophies in our future i don't know let's not go crazy All right, so we're not black, so Maelstrom Pulse is out. I don't care about CGing, especially at double red. I think it's just Gear Hulk, and I actually kind of like Gear Hulk. It's like the only card in this pack for us. I don't really want Banisher Priest at double double white either. Well, Gear Hulk. Was there stomping grounds in that pack that I just missed? That'd be really weird. Look, dude, if you didn't want me to show up and get songs stuck in your head every day, you shouldn't have given me a sword. Even if I didn't, I think you'd still do that. <clears throat> uh, I like Bloodbird Elf a lot here. Bloodbird Elf and like Knight of Yavimaya or Yavimaya Elder or Tireless Tracker seems very, very good. Of course, it could hit these as well, and I'm fine with that as well, so. Hmm. I think it's just Duplicate here. <clears throat> it's another Tooth and Nail target, which is totally fine. And it's some much needed removal for the mono mostly mono green deck <clears throat> baby shark do 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 mama shark do 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 celestial signet do 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 to the nail do 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 <laughs> oh man good times we have a good time Everybody have a good time. I don't think we're a sneak attack deck. Was there a sneak attack? Did I just miss it? Wow. I got blinders on today, man. I mean, Celestia so Singet's probably better for our deck. We don't really have sneak... Like, I don't want to sneak attack a Bloodbraid Elf or a Master. Virgil's Hero could be alright. Thragtus could be alright, but like... <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah, do, 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 do. I actually just had an eye test yesterday, literally, literally yesterday, and I'll be getting LASIK next Tuesday. I scheduled it today. I'm an oh, Corsive Portal is great. I was leaning towards Garrick, but then I'm like, eh, Corsive Portal. I think it's because I haven't like fully like, I haven't done anything today that's like that's engaged me. So I'm still kind of like, I'm not waking up per se, but I'm still like in the, uh, I'm not alert. You know what I mean? So you guys are getting me fresh here. I'm going to take this Aleshnorn because it's really good. Oh, Mind Slaver? Hmm. Well, we got a... I think Mind Slaver is just really powerful in this cube. Oh, Progenitus just in case. All right. Oh, Bitter Blossom? That's a late Bitter Blossom. We can cut the red. I'll take the Banisher Priest in case we cut the red. Take Bargain. So I went yesterday <clears throat> for the for the consultation for LASIK, and I could have sworn they were going to trim my eyelids there, but they didn't. And so when I left, I was like, it was kind of awkward, because I was like, but my eyelids are still so long, you know? I'm going to take this Mox Ruby, because I like having two Moxes instead of one. I'm not, <clears throat> so I'm not bad at losing my glasses, I just don't, like, I'm very, very nearsighted, and my, my vision's actually very good. But when I'm driving or, like, when I'm out places, I have to wear glasses. When I go to the movies, like, I have to wear glasses. Like, like when I'm, even, like, when I'm watching TV in the living room, I'll still wear my glasses because it's, I can see things fine. But it's not, like, crisp. And it's just kind of obnoxious. So, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just get this taken care of and, like, not have to worry about it. And also, like, when I wear sunglasses, I either have to get prescription sunglasses, which are a pain. And, uh... 
you know, it costs like a, a million dollars. Or I have to get I have to get regular glasses and I wear contacts with them, which is also kind of a pain. So like, you know, it could just be Coalition Relic here. I like Vivian Reed too, though. Hmm. Trim your eyelids or eyelashes? Eyelids. The lids. Did I say lashes? That would have been awkward. Uh, uh, hmm. 13 creatures. No, I don't think we're an Oath of Druids deck. Plus, at least two Planeswalkers that make creatures. Hmm. Leaning towards... That's going to be a... That's going to be a nope from me, dog. <sighs> I think it's actually Relic here. Okay. You know, when things like this happen, I'm just like, well, you know, thanks, I guess. It's like you don't even have to look at the rest of the pack. And now we have Plow Under or Primeval Titan. I'm pretty sure it's Primeval Titan. There's also a Karn Liberated in the pack. Would you do a no eyelash stip? I feel like it would cost a lot more uh, than a regular stip. That's my, that's my thought. Yeah, no, no, I did not take the Temple Garden over the Crater Hoof. That is, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure it's Titan here. But boy, do I like a Karn. Oh, we did get a Stomping Ground. That's great. Oh, yeah, Stomping Ground OP. Also, Zealous Conscript OP as well, so. How about I know Eyebrow Stip? Jesus. Jesus, what's wrong with you people? <clears throat> Acidic Slime. Oh, Findhorn Elves. That's where we want. We only have one Arbor Elf right now. Oh, and an Ugin? Oh my god. I think we'd just rather have the early Elf. We do have some cuts to make here. I'm going to take this Copper Line Gorge. We got three cuts to make? Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. <clears throat> Like, I think our top end is fine, guys. I really don't think we need more Ugins. Oh, Rex Age. Avacyn's Pilgrim. Actually, probably better because we already have Night of Autumn. But do we want two similar effects? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have much ramp. We also have two Moxes on the sideboard and a Mana Crypt, so I really don't know if that's true. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem accurate at all. But... Kodama's Reach? Hmm. Thank you. GM Miller, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I was watching the stream where you were trying on different glasses frames. What would you want to... Why would you want to wear glasses? What do you mean? I don't understand the question. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Yep, Vivian Reed came back, just like we figured she might. It sounded like you were trying to wear just the frames without lenses. No, I would never do that. It definitely did not sound like that. I was trying glasses on that they sent to me uh, to get new frames. I even made, I think I made it a point like four times in that, in those, in those drafts that I was like, I would never be the guy that just wears lenses, but just wears frames by himself with no lenses. Sure. Okay. This is 31. Oh, actually three of these are like lands quote unquote. So 28 cards. Long. No, not Eureka. I don't even know if we're through the breaching. We're probably not Trustanying. Like we have enough five drops here. Through the breaches, ah, through the breach is actually good with the crater hoof too. Like if we can throw like three or four guys down and then through the breach of crater hoof. I actually think Gearhulk is great. It makes all your small guys so much so much bigger threats. I think Gearhulk's extremely underrated. What about lenses without any correction? That's literally what we're talking about, right? We're talking about glasses frames. With 
plastic lenses that don't have any correction on them. That's what we're talking about. Can we see the Simic version? Well, wow, that's a wow, that's a that's a quality meme right there. Oh, here's a tropical island in case you did want to see the Simic version. I'm gonna take this survival of the fittest. Maybe that makes the cut. Well, I'm just gonna take this memory jar, I guess. Oh, Varnak, you have hit the nail on the head, buddy. I like the frames. I just hate wearing glasses. That's the thing. I hate being like, oh, I gotta put my glasses. Oh, God, hold on. Let me get. Oh, I gotta find something to clean them. Hold on. Let me look around for a little bit. Hold on. I just gotta clean my glasses. Give me one second, guys. Hold on. I'm just gonna clean them here. Okay. And I'm just gonna. Oh, man. I just put my finger on it. Hold on. I gotta clean them again. This is awkward. And then it's just like, I have to do that all the time. Baby shark, do 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 do. Be a man and use your shirt. Yeah, but that doesn't actually clean them. That literally makes them dirtier. It literally makes them dirtier. This is probably a sixteen land deck for sure. So we need three cuts. I don't even know if we want the relic. We we took the relic over Vivian Reed and Vivian Reed came back, so we don't even have to have like relic remorse if we if we don't play relic. We also have search tomorrow. Good God. I'm gonna take my Elder out. Oh, it has nothing to do with shirts. Like, it has to do with, like, the fact that it's not... It's not a glasses-cleaning cloth. Like, it's not a soft material, right? So... Like, it literally just leaves it smudgier. Like, it just moves around the dirt. It doesn't actually... That's why I use microfiber cloths for glasses, because anything else is, like... It leaves, like, a... Like, a like a gloss... Like, a... I don't even... Like, a... Mist? I don't even know how, how to describe it. Cheese Wisp, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Wear microfiber shirts. Okay, see, now you're onto something. Now you're thinking. That I can get behind. God, Mind Slaver is so good, though, especially with all this mana. After watching every other Vintage Cube draft on the YouTubes, I finally get to watch live. <laughs> appreciate it. Actually, I don't know if micromodal, fi micromodal fabric is actually would actually do the job. But if anything did, I think it, it, MeUndies would, because they're super soft. So if you guys haven't done so, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And I really don't know what the next two cuts are. I like Bloodbraid in this deck. I think we can cut one of these. I probably We'll probably cut the Search. Although Search does get us red. We don't really need it, though. We have Stomping Ground, Copper Line, and Mox Ruby here. And Coalition Relic. Yeah, so if you guys are somewhere and you need to clean your glasses, you can just whip that underwear out. How how many... This is, like, good with two creatures, right? I feel bad about cutting it, but, like... It's only really good with Ulamog and Crater Hoof. Maybe it's good with Primeval Titan, too. I guess we could win with an Alesh Norn. You want us to cut Clamp? <laughs> it doesn't matter how many one toughnesses there are. Like, I, we get, I, get, I get this... I hear this all the time, and it's so comical to me. Like... People think only, like, Skull Clamp is only good if you get to kill the creature immediately. It's just not, that's just not true. People see to, seem to think that, like, unless you're using a card maximally, like, to its optimal ability, like, that's the only situation it's ever good in. And it, it's just not, it's just not correct. If I have a Tireless Tracker and I put a Skull Clamp on it, if that, that, that Tireless Tracker either lives for the rest of the game, or when it dies, I draw two cards. Like, having a card that turns every one of your other cards into, like, a Mull Drifter, it's just huge. Uh, Knight is definitely not more for the sideboard, not in this format. It's it's vintage cube. Like everybody has there's you won't find a deck that doesn't have an artifact. And a four three for three is just like it's not even see again, this is a situation where you find where you kind of feel like the destroy a target artifact or enchantment is the main mode, right? So you're playing this as a Rex Sage. But like it is a four three for three, which is completely fine. I think maybe it's duplicate actually. I could see taking duplicate out. Man, this mana base is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, or gains four life. Like you're you're never gonna be like, man, I wish this Knight of Autumn was something else. 
I think this is fine, actually. You don't really have to... See, like, that's the thing. You don't have to abuse Slaver, though. Like, you don't have to, like... Abusing it means literally casting it, making your opponent discard his hand, kill all of his creatures, and then going back to your turn. It's not even like they get another turn. It's not like Emrakul, right? Like, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16... Like, the equivalent of, like, the, um, abusing slaver literally just, how many red sources? One, two, three, four, five. Tribe Elder can get a land. Eh, it's fine. I wish we had one, like, one green fetch land. We have Temple Savannah and Stomping Ground, which would be nice. No, like, the Siege and Commander turn was great, but, I mean, like, you typically just win on the spot. You, you get to tap all their guys down. Like, worst, yeah, worst case scenario, it's literally a time walk. But it's a time walk where you get to, like, get perfect information, see all of their cards, do whatever you want with their turn. Like, I actually don't own any power, surprisingly. But it's never just a 10-mana time walk. I don't know where, why we're repeating this. Like, it's not a 10-mana time walk. It is a 10-mana a time walk that lets you also take their turn, tap all their lands, counter their own spells, and, like, attack their creatures into yours. If they have no creatures, then it doesn't matter that you have Slaver. If they have some creatures on board, you get to, like, utterly destroy them. So, I like, I don't understand, like, this. This is a weird... Sure. I mean, the, the thing is, like, we have both of these to do on turn two if they don't take one of these. So we get to choose whichever one they, they leave. Which means they might just take Mox Emerald, have an answer for Arbor Elf. I don't think people value Portal as much as they should. There's so many times where I cast Time Walk and I just untap and draw a card. And then that's it. And there's so, there's so many times where I cast Mind Slaver and I'm like, this just utterly won me the game by itself. Like, it's just pretty crazy. So, like, to hear people being like, Time Walk is just a... Or Mind Slaver is just an extra time... It's just a 10-minute Time Walk. It's just pretty crazy. Man, look at that. Look at that. Maybe we do that guy. Baby shark. Yeah, I could see playing Garrick here. The thing is, if they have any removal spell, they just kill Master and we get no value out of it. So I'd rather them... I'd rather start getting Garrick down. Plus it gives us one, four, five, seven mana next turn. Ophiomancer. Well, never want to attack into this snake, that's for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, but if we draw a fat, I'd rather just cast it, right? Like, why would we want it for one turn? We can get it for, like, the rest of the game. I think keeping Garrick alive is... Yeah, haste, haste is definitely a thing, but... Hasty shark, do 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 Buy it for lugs, buy it for lives. Is that the Moen phrase? Wow. Seems good. That's cool. Gonna untap these lands. We're hoping they block with a snake, because if they block with a snake, then they can't sack the snake to get the Ophiomancer back. So I'm just going to trade 3-3 three, three for... Yeah, that's fine. Where do I buy my hair? Oh, I have no hair product in right now. Like, this is pretty natural. Um, you can get it anywhere. Like, I, the first time I got it, I got it from a local barber shop. The second time, I just got it on Amazon. The thing I use regularly is called Baxter of California. It's a product... Oh, for crying out loud. Hmm. It's a product called uh, Molding Clay, I think. I feel like I've gone over this before. Yep, that's cool. We're having a good time. Yeah, it's clay pomade. Sure, three and two. Wow. Can I get... Yep, that ain't an emerical. We're playing the land because it plays around things like uh, Mind Twist and Him to Torok. <laughs> Excuse me. What do we have to breach? Lots of things. Emrakul, Aleshnorn, Crater Hoof. I mean, right now, it's not. none of them are looking great. I actually don't know if we have a, a great way to deal with... Oh, we have a duplicate, actually. We can... This is what I... This is what I use... For, this is my primary hair product. Did we cut duplicate? Well, see you later. Of course, we leave alive their one green creature so that they can natural order like you do. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yep, not feeling good about this game. All downhill from here, guys. Why not breach the night? Because <laughs> uh, you can't recurring nightmare as a sorcery. That's not how that card works. McGrandpa, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? 
Isn't Natural Order just a Joy Division after Ian Curtis died? Wow. That's gas. Uneasy Joker, what's going on, buddy? Alright, so... Definitely want Beast within here. Uh, I'm going to take out the Through the Breach. I think it's too cute here. I'm going to bring in the Duplicant. Take out the Mind Slaver. Thank you. William, thank you so much for the resub. Six whole months. Look at me now, Mom. A great pig. Nice. Nice. Am I out of steps? I still have yours with the um, the chat picks one of the like the chat picks, and then I pick one of the top three. But it's really hard to get. Like it's hard to to have people do that. So that's been my that's been the biggest issue so far. Please acknowledge that you do the same thing as you can see your next. <laughs> oh yeah, XT Threat, I have no idea what that is. Literal nonsense. Well, two moxes and a mana crypt. Which is like a colorless mox. Started with please acknowledge and spammed auto suggest. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I also have a few questions about the diabetes to get a new one, and it was a pleasure. So, I guess we're even. This hand's pretty rough. Like, we don't have any action until turn three. This is much better. I'll keep a land. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually care about playing Skull Clamp here. I'd rather just play Thrag Tusk next turn. Turn three Thrag Tusk seems good. And we can Skull Clamp it. And just because it's not one toughness means that we can still draw two cards when it dies. And we get a 3 3. Okay, well, that's we're one turn away from that guy. So next up we can go Signet, Clamp, play in this, and then still put a charge counter on this. That's pretty good. That's a solid strategy. Oh no, this little helicopter man. This is where they discard something, play Recurring Nightmare, get it back.
Discard Primal Command. Sure. That's a good one. So seven damage. We could just draw two here, but we can always draw two later. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it might be worth drawing the two here. Because we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, six mana. The problem is we can't put it back on the Thrag Tusk, but I guess that's fine. Sylvan Library, do, 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 drawing cards. Do, 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 do. Oh, I have not looked at the full spoilers for RNA yet. I may have someone coming over to pick something up, so I may have to step away for a moment, but it shouldn't take more than like a literal minute. Man, this Sylvan Library is intense. Are the rats coming to collect the rat dead again? No, I leave that to Mike. I don't answer the door if the rats come and it's not if Mike's not here. Because that's just... It's too much. It's too stressful. Are you reading the whole library over there? <laughs> Oh, it sure feels like it, doesn't it? Oh my God, this is, this is intense. We did it. Oh, they took four, too. Wow. That's aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we had a land, we can just play a Leshnorn, which is pretty nuts. Is OP the guy coming to your house right now? <laughs> no. 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 Yep, figured you'd be crewing. Do 
Demon Lord Belschnickel. Get to find out if we've been impish or admirable. Okay, let's just go green. Could play Xenagos Pilgrim. Kill the Pilgrim. This is just a trade here. Four, five, six. That might be better just because we get to... Uh, like, they take six if we don't, if we equip this guy. So we can go four, five, six equip. I'm going to go to four. We can also play Thrun and equip the, the small guy. Yeah, we're just going to do this. I think this is probably better. Do you want to give us a 3-3 and let us draw two cards and trade for your Thrun? <laughs> what do you find more fun, drafting or playing a cube? Um, They're both pretty fun. Playing the Pilgrim here is about the same as putting a counter on the Coalition or Relic. Well, let me get another blocker so they can't just kill Xenagos if they have... I guess they still have this guy. Eh. Yeah, this is why people like who are like, if you can't, if you can't kill your, your X1 with it, it's not good. And I'm just like, you're absolutely insane. Cottage Emperor, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, they can only take one card now, which is nice. Yeah, people get into these really weird, like, like if a card says destroy up to three target permanents, right? And you can only destroy two of them. They're like, yeah, I don't want to use it now. I don't think it's as good. I mean, yeah, and that's true. It's not as good, but it's still very, very good. People kind of have blinders on when it comes to stuff like that, where like if, if your card is not getting 100% maximum value out of it, it's just not as good. And it's just not correct. Shut up and take my money. The only deck I haven't seen you playing this vintage cube, and I'm not even sure it's that good, is if you like me change any of the other guy that nobody wants. Okay, so so land hate, right? Okay, so we'll do land hate. <laughs> Honey's Joker, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Make them concede. All right. Yep. Let's see if they just kill Xenagos here. Perfect. Power and land fixing, all good. Adding that. 
They have 10 minutes, we have 19 minutes. They've taken like 9 minutes longer than us. That's pretty absurd. One Sonster, buddy. I'm so sorry. I hope everything's alright. Which doesn't seem like it is, but I hope everything... Sorry to hear that, buddy. So they have six mana. They're at four. Adding steps. Do 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 do. Survival of the fittest. Do 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 do. Beer man, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure. John, what are you guys working on right now? Huh. Natural ordering the Thrun. Yep, like you do. We are making video games. <laughs> Solid answer. Solid response. I approve. You just kill these two and then you're like, I don't care about your Thrag Tusk. No, you kill everything. Sounds good. Well, we get a 3-3 get three, three, and then we get to draw two, so... Yeah, why wouldn't you get rid of this instead of the Thrun? I don't understand that at all. Oh, man. Of course our land is a Copper Line Gorge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. This is sad because we can deal them 3. Oh, let's cast that. Let's destroy Smuggler's Copter, I guess? Sylvan Library is also good. All three of these are good, right? I don't think we care about the Copter as much. Like, if you're going to crew, that's taking up two resources. Library is very, very good, but survival is kind of like a tutor. Let's get rid of the survival. So we can actually equip one of these guys, whichever one we don't want to keep. Because next turn we'll have six mana, so we can actually put this on, like, Bloodbraid Elf, and then they have to block the Bloodbraid Elf. And go to one. And then we get to just draw two. Do you guys remember the time that Skull Clamp just kept letting us draw two every single time? Even though we didn't put on our X1s? We've drawn like six cards off Skull Clamp this game, just to be clear. And only one of them was on an X1. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. The Skull Clamp Green deck has fewer cards in library than the deck with Copter Library and Survival. <laughs> that is true. Frank, please, I come here to get away from Baby Shark. That's fair. That's fair. I'm sorry to have exposed you to this. So if we duplicate this Dragon Lord Tarka, we get to uh, get an 8-8. Eight eight, and they can't actually Thought Seize us because they have one life.
This Skull Clamp card seems pretty good. Why isn't it played in more formats? <laughs> uh, so 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll go to 6. All right. Clearly no blocks. Maybe they just need a recurring nightmare. All right, they get back Ophiomancer. Seems good. Yep, six mana is pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, recurring nightmare. You are a hell of a drug. A Lesh Norn would be great here, but it, it still leaves us with a six, six on board. So we're gonna have to duplicate here, unfortunately. Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! That is a thick-ass boy. So now they have a recurring nightmare in hand. Baby shark, do, 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 shark. <laughs> Nature's claim incoming. I mean, we gain we gain four and draw two cards. I don't even think that's terrible. And then we get to Alashnor on the board. Like, however, I would not be surprised if they go like Manamorphos, Thunder Ma Hellkite, Alpha. Um, let's take one here. If we block and this dies, we get to Alashnorn, but we still actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still actually, um... Alright, so their graveyard's not that great, actually. Yeah, Thrun is fine. Alright, so we don't still have a recurring nightmare in hand. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, this is just this is just gas. Yeah, that's going to be game. Wait, you're a 1. What? Why would you do this? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. What? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what the shit? I have no idea what just happened. Greatness, at, but they weren't even like dead. They, if they didn't know about Eleshnorn, they don't. They don't have any reason to, to kill themselves. They can just chump log it with a snake all day. It doesn't even make any sense. Like it was either a, the misplay of the century or they're cheating. So either one, not ideal. Money. 
Happy Friday. Neon Tokyo Rain, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Happy Friday to you, buddy. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to Neon Tokyo Rain. Happy Friday to you. Burr, 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 burr. Ooh, turn to elf, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. Domovia, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. Neon Tokyo Rain with the gifted sub. Thank you. Ten gifted subs? Neon Tokyo Rain, get out of here. Get right out of here, dude. Thank you. thank you so much, man. You are amazing. Man, you're on a tear today, buddy. Medina with the sub. Thank you, thank you so much, dude. You guys are great. John Medina, a gentleman that I used to do a podcast with called Untapped. I don't know if you guys remember Untapped. Um, pretty sure it's just a white here. We have so much green. Thank you. Thank you. So we're just going to Vivian Reed and kill this, right? Because then she goes to two and she can't die. But if they have another black, they get to kill her. They're also at five minutes and we're at like a thousand minutes. It was the greatest pot. It was very good. Destroy this guy. Thank you. So if they can activate, if they go land, activate his in Quagmire, it's going to suck. But getting Skull Clamp off the board when they didn't seem Thank to have you. much to do seems okay. Medina Streams was likely on the Ed team probably recently. That's just how he does. Garrick, sure. They also have to win this game in four minutes. Eh, it doesn't seem ideal. Oh, wow. All of these are good in their own ways. We can actually play Primeval Titan and Arbor Elf here. Thank you. Gerald for us all. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Man. This is a pretty sweet subtrain we got going here. I have no idea when this dude is pulling out of the station. Blood Braid is probably just... Yeah, we're just going to get Primeval Titan. It's just like a better Blood Braid most of the time. Let's get Savannah Plains. Play an Arbor Elf. They're probably going to draw three here, I would imagine. You have a Kessick? We don't, unfortunately. We just have regular prime time. We're five, six, seven, eight, with nine mana on board. Here comes a natural order because they've had it all three games into a uh, Dragon Lord of Tarka. Oh, just the Thrun? It's actually a little more reasonable. Now they're going to draw four. Like you do. Yep, there you go. Oh, we can actually put all four counters on the Primeval Titan, which is pretty insane. And then we just get to eat their creatures forever. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that ain't bad. Oh, the Bloodbraid came back and a Duplicate came back? Oh, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana total, so we're probably going to play this... Probably going to play Gear Hulk and Tireless Tracker here, which means I kind of want the duplicate just to have an answer to like uh, Dragon Lord Dramoka. Nope, that's not it. Uh, Dragon Lord Tarka. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to actually pay two here to keep that untapped so we can 
crack a clue during this turn. One, two, three. Oh, I guess we could have done that with Arbor Elf, but whatever. Let's not pay more than we have to, I guess. One, put it all on Primeval Titan. Because now it also dodges Dragonlord Dramoka. Atarka. Still Atarka. We could also just go to their face and not care. So just go to the face. So they're, they're 16. Like, this guy just has to kill them in, like, two turns, right? Yes, but then we search for two lands with the prime time, so our deck got shuffled. Like, they're not on the bottom after that. I'm not sure where we go here, actually. This is actually relatively tricky. I don't want to just go face and then have them be like, activate, activate this, make a guy, activate this, put counters on all my guys. I'm just going to... If we attack here, we need to deal four. So six... Ha yeah, we're just going to go towards Garrick here. I mean, we haven't seen Hoof once. In three, four, five, six, seven, they're still a land shy. So they have to have land Hoof. I mean, they could. They very well could. I mean, I'm more leaning towards them having uh, natural order. Of course, if they have, if they've drawn Dragonlord Atarka, which they seem to not have done in three games yet, then they can't. Then they can't natural order for it. Yeah, that's never happening. <laughs> Kodama's Reach, don't care. Yep, don't care about that either. All right. They have two minutes and 28 seconds. Yay, I can unmute you now. Bye, work meetings. Hello, streaming and video games. <laughs> oh, good time. This is still round one, yes. They have used... They have monopolized a good amount of their time. Okay, we're, we're, we have this now. The game is the game is ended now. Let's see if we can draw another critter. Uh, Fendor Elms is fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Attack of your face, huh? And no more lands left in our deck. All 17 of our lands are in play. I want to crack... Oh, I want to crack a clue. And... Negative 29 seems good. <laughs> All right. Got him. I did not play around Fog, you're correct. 
Oh, this hand is terrible, but but also kind of okay. I'm gonna keep this hand, and if we draw anything, this is like this is a risky hand. But if we draw into anything, we're just like so far ahead. Like this is a turn two primeval titan. We have six mana on turn two. Yeah, this is this would be great if we could hit Primeval Titan. If they don't go like Swamp, Lotus, Toxic Deluge for one. Alright, well, that's one step. Oh dang. Night of Autumn. Well, that's more mana, I guess. What sounds like a fun step? Didn't we already do one? I couldn't if I tried. Vivian would be nice. Well, that's awkward. Oh, you're going to take our mocks. Oh, they'll play it for free. Oh, good for you. What up, Icarus? Lush Norn. Wow, that was weird. Hopefully you guys knew I said that before it happened. That's an Olesh, no, that's an Olesh. We also have no cards in hand, so that's something. That's something to keep in mind. I mean, just don't have an answer for Aleshnorn, that's all. Turn through Aleshnorn is good, but like it, it, she does die to just any kind of removal, which is kind of frustrating. Can't mind twist me if I ain't got no hand. Oh, that's cool. You just blink your hostage taker and take the Aleshnorn. That's super nice. Boy, you really have it all in your four color deck. Don't get to see you live much, but wanted to stop in and read my sub and see all. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, that, that's we're probably dead here. I'm probably not gonna be able to tell. like one, two, three, four, five, six. Any land they just play Aleshnorn and wipe our board. I'm just gonna go to the next game because it's just worth my time. Potatoes Man, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Yep. Not ideal. I do want a beast within. I've been liking this duplicate. I don't like the through the breach here. I can actually we're gonna play 41 to 16. You're crazy. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like the like the Mana Ramp is like sideboard cards, right? Like if you put too many in your deck. You dilute the actual, like, strength of your deck. You actually dilute your your ways to win. Like, I've seen people board into any sideboard cards, and then they have hands with, like, Stony Silence, Rest in Peace, and then they just get beaten down with a 2-2 every turn, and they just can't do anything. Is Jar any good here? Eh. I mean, typically we're not going to dump our hand like that. And we also have to have the Jar in our hand in that. Like, it, we also have had, like... A bunch of ramp cards in our hand and also jar. So, like, the odds of that is not super high. Hit them with the old sideways hot dog. I don't even know what that means. 
I mean, it sounds like a good strategy. You don't know the sideways hot dog. Does Tristani seem great here? All right, fine. I'll put the... Oh, because of the... Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah. I always... Okay, so here's the thing. I forget about the uh, the, the steel back effect from Tristani. So that's why I was like, oh, is it great? Is it really good here? You take my creatures and I'll take them back. Because I have Rostani in the deck. That's a little that's a little Iron Maiden the Trooper there for you guys. I would like them to take Tristan go to, to bribery us and then take Tristani. That'd be gas. What's with the crazy static noise? Is anyone else hearing a static noise? Because that would make me sad. One, two, three, four, not yet. Not yet. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Why don't you guys say something? What if I turn this fan off? Let me know if you still hear it now. Still there. Okay. Interesting. Let me lower the gain a little bit. Let me know if you can still hear it. Still there. Wow, that's really frustrating. I have no idea what's causing that, and that's really no static for me. Only you got lower static the same. Okay, that's good to know. That is helpful. Hmm. I can't imagine what it is, actually. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me unplug this. Let me know if you can hear it now. Okay, so here's the thing. I have a second mic now. I got a second Shure SMB7, SM7B, and it's not plugged in. So the only thing that was plugged in is the XLR cable is plugged into the preamp, but it's not actually connected to the mics. So it's probably just the static from the mic not being plugged in, it's from just like an empty mic cable. Wow, that's good to know. All right, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're one shy, right? We go one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four. I am kind of afraid of a resto here. And it just comes down, kills our Garrick. I might just want a mind slaver here. All right, so I can turn my fan back on and you guys won't mind, I assume. What is the best way to support Frank financially, and how do I do that? <laughs> well, the first thing is sub. Subbing is super easy. 
But then there's also that guy. Um, what did they do? They toxic deluge for three killed all my things. Sure. Oh my god, if can you imagine if they had toxic deluge in hand when we mind slavered? Pay twenty. So one, two, three, four. We can go signet and then Actually, do we just attack them for like seven here? I do have Patreon. Hmm. Hmm. Like all all three of these options are good. Mind Slaver, Virgil's Gear Hulk, and Garrick. They're also at ten. Subs do only give a percentage, um, but I do like it is regular, right? Actually, if we slaver them now, we can attack for three and then we can kill them next turn, right? Sure. All right, so Thief of Sanity, not super exciting. Yeah, this doesn't actually do much for us, unfortunately. Oh, we could have looked at their deck there, I guess. Yeah, I don't actually want to cast either of these things, which is pretty problematic. Yeah, that was a pretty bad slave return, unfortunately, but. Something good. Duplicant. Mm, Xenagos, not too bad. One, two, three, four for Garrick. We can actually play Garrick and Xenagos here, which is pretty nice. Let's do that. Enrico, I totally linked you, buddy. I don't want a Gaunti because then they can play Dragonlord Ojutai and they have two blockers on board. Ideally, we're in a position where, like, we can cast another Seder. We can make another Seder. We can Virtuous Gear Hulk and we can put all the counters on the guys and then overrun, which should actually be the win. Where is the donate? You can click the link in the donation thing. It's also in my profile. It's in my Twitch profile. So it's pretty much everywhere. It's in the Twitch profile. It's also the link in that, in that message that I put in the chat. No, thank you. Thank you. Oh, do they draw like the one thing? You just top deck something that's really, really super cool? Sorry, I'm really bad at social media. No worries, man. No worries at all. Oh, that's fine. How big are these guys? Because we can, we can overrun here. Makes, let's create a guy. We want to make them equally big, right? So we put two counters. Yeah, this is just game. Make them four fours, then we make them a million and millions, right? Got him. Two lethal trampley boys. What if I want to send a pigeon with a few bills? Yeah, do that. You can do that. Hmm. 
Did we not board the Trostanian? Did they not take the suggestion? That's fascinating. And they have Gonti, which is another good Trostani. Targetto. Targetto. What food did you end up getting with soup with uh, Mike Mike and Music Mike? We went to get um We went to get a uh, barbecue. We went to Sunny's. Which is a barbecue restaurant. <laughs> oh, Kerwin just sent me five dollars through Facebook. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. You <laughs> Oh man. You're a ridiculous dude. But I approve. Shut up and take my money. Oh, what happened? Jojo MK, one more step before the end of the cube season. Captain America draft in honor of your new comic. Wow, I can't believe you noticed that. That's hilarious. Uh, this hand is terrible. Draft America, Jessica Colors, Planeswalkers are priority super friends as well as soldier as soldier creatures. That's great. Flavor text is super plus makes stand. Oh man, this one's really good. That's great. I'm a fan. But of course I would be. Hold on. <laughs> All right. This hand's pretty bad too, but I kind of like Knight of Autumn here. They're like playing four colors or five colors. Yeah, the problem with Korean barbecue is that I don't eat a lot of meat. I feel like I say this every single stream. I don't eat a lot of meat. So when I go to Sunny's, I mostly get sides and, like, chicken. And Korean barbecue does not actually... Uh, it does not cater to my, my dietary preferences very well. Does the Captain America have a Nazi punching bonus goal? Um... I think it should, but I also don't think it can. I don't think that's feasible within the Magic Online client. Give me a rampy spell. Whoa, that was a good one. Frank, do you eat a lot of meat? Negative. Uh, chicken is is chicken is actually a meat. However, I said uh, I don't eat a lot of meat. I didn't say I don't eat any meat. So I understand words are are confusing sometimes, but can we Knight of Autumn and kill this Signet that they're clearly going to play? Yeah, let's do that. Also, next turn, Vivian Reed is pretty gas. <laughs> Can you please acknowledge that you don't eat that much meat? Please acknowledge it. It feels like it does come up every single month. Like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I go here and I don't eat that much meat. And then they're like, oh, so the meat you eat isn't meat? And I'm like, no, it still is. But I didn't say I don't eat no meat. Love you, Sir Trust Me, I've been watching one a night for the past two weeks. <laughs> Joe Jumkey, that's awesome. I am okay with it. I appreciate the support. You guys are great. This is round two or round three? This is round two, right? Oh my god, this draft has been taking forever. This is going to be a long one, boys. I'm going to put a hot take out there. If you don't like vegetables, you've got the palate. I agree with that. I think I don't think it takes that much to uh, really... Oh my god, we can Vivian read this, this Thief of Sanity. And we won our flip. Oh god.
Get him. Get him. Oh, I lost the flip. God, I should be so lucky. Primeval Titan. No, oh, I'll just take an Aleshnorn. <laughs> I got all the mana I could need. We haven't seen any counter spells from them, so I'm just going to play uh, Thrag Tusk here. Enrico, I'm watching your stuff about five years now on the internet. Time to pay, I guess. <laughs> Favorite stream experience with the fr with the uh, fisting deck stream you did with Mike and was best for you. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Man, five years is a long time. Thank you so much, dude. Really, really appreciate the support. That is awesome. I'm basically on a no beer diet, which means only 30 per month. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ten months sober, Neon Tokyo Rain. Congrats, buddy. That is good stuff, dude. I lost the flip again. Only at nineteen, though. So I guess we're okay. I hit two years sober a couple months ago because oh my god, my grandpa and me in Tokyo ring. Congrats, you guys are awesome. That's fantastic to hear, dude. My problem with keto, I actually like keto. I think it's actually reasonable. But the problem with keto is that like I eat a lot of meat or not uh, cheese rather. I like cheese and I don't eat a lot of meat. That's that's the problem. So they go to six here and we get a three three. Yeah, that seems pretty okay. So we now have clue three three Vivian Reed. Hmm. Vivian Reed's getting getting pretty buff here. Yeah, that's that's boring, but I'll take it. <laughs> Dungeon Master's Guide. Alright, I have two lethal creatures. And you're at three, so that's why they're both lethal. Final I ate a lot of meat. Finally the tr <laughs> Oh god, they're on to me. Two lethal creatures. Leith Creech. <laughs> oh, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, I lose my creatures. I lose three cards. Luis Fleck, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Choose a card in your hand, discard the rest. I'll keep the Aleshnorn. And they have to get rid of a Sacrifice All Creatures. Done. 
All right. Three, four, five, six. They had to get rid of a... Did they get rid of land? I don't even know. I mean, that seems like a temporary solution when we have... Viv Vivian Reed in play. Classic. Oh, God. One humming in the garage, Buck. Oh, in the garage is like my favorite uh, Weezer song. This is what happens when you just play a creator hoof with no other guys on board. It still wins the game. Unless your last card is go for the throat. It was not. They lost the game. Mm hmm. I've got 12 sided die. I don't think you can change the amount of months that you want to sub. I think you can just sub and then uh, it tells it like it's just if it's a, if it's a tier one sub, if it's the five dollar sub, you get to re it, it renews automatically. But if it's a Twitch Prime sub, you have to just renew it every month manually. Do we, do we, let's, do we, I don't, I keep taking out through the breach. I think it's probably worse than duplicate here. Our deck doesn't seem to have a problem getting to the man. And also Ulamog is great with tooth and nail. So whatever. And Nightcrawler 2. Like it's probably one of the only mainstream songs, like mainstream bands with a song that references both Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler from the X-Men. So, you know, kind of a big deal for me. Metathon, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. 19 months in a row. My God. We've been together for so long. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep it. How much of our subs does Jeff Bezos' ex get? Wow. Wow. That's a top. That's topical right there. Um, Whenever you guys subscribe with either Twitch Prime or Amazon, or uh, just regular Twitch subs... Um, I get 350 and Twitch gets 150, so. Thank you. Waiting there for me, yes I do. And Enrico, thank you so much for the sub as well. Really appreciate it, buddy. Man. The support never ends. This is a good this is a good support stream. So here's the thing, if we charge it, it's almost the same as just playing an Arbor Elf. So Oh, the old library with four cards in hand, eh? A classic. Well. No, not, not again. I just did that twice in a row. Let's master the wild hunt here so we can start taking out these pilgrims. Pilgramos. There was, an, there was weird art on Mox Ruby? When was this? Was it in play? Any particular reason for Fenhorn over Arbor there? I mean, no. I donated, I subbed, do I also have to buy your underwear collection? Well, you could. If you head it over to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, which is a pretty good deal. So you guys can uh, check that out if you're in the market for any kind of uh, onesies or lounge pants or socks. Or tease. Uh, our record is 2-0 currently. And they are collective brutality our elf. And that's it. Okay. That is fine. And they're beast within our boy. Alright. That's fine. All this is fine. Like I traded two cards for a 1-1 one -one and, and made this guy just a little bit. 
Let's all go green. One, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna Virgo's Gear Hulk here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, we're not gonna be casting Tooth and Nail anyway, so I'm actually just gonna pay with this, put the counters on both these guys. And attack you for eight. And then we have three lethal creatures on the board, so that's, eh, it seems pretty good. So Toxic Deluge isn't an option because you'd die. You can't draw any extra cards at Sylvan Library. And Nightcrawler 2, waiting there for me. Yeah, this is why Gearhulk is insane. And people undervalue it, but like, it's just able to pressure so much. This is how you should say Pilgrim in my humble opinion. Let me see what you got here. Don't get me demonetized, though. Think you can make it, Pilgrim? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Mike, send me a pick, because I'm really curious. How nervous are you in your Pro Tour Top 8? Not really, actually. It's funny, because at the time, I was just like... Yeah, I'm pretty much where I want to be. Like, I mean, I, I at that point in the, in the in the pro tour, like, I had done everything I wanted to do. I was king of the hill for a long time in that pro tour. Oh, are you guys talking about this right here? That's literally just the green screen. That's the light shining through the green screen. One of my favorite stipulations was you and Mike alternating picks between nine draft. You should do that again next time you have a guest. Hat Mike, Rob. Okay, definitely doing that. Honey's Joker, you have like three sniffs that I have. I still have to do, buddy. I'm putting them all in the queue. Anyway, what I was saying was I was king of the hill for that pro tour. Like I top eight, it was my first pro tour. Like I, when I got to the top eight, I was just like, whatever happens, happens. I was like, it's totally fine. Yeah, this feels good. Like, they're going to actually eat two guys and trade with something, but then they still have to block at least one of these guys. Well, one of the other ones, anyway. Oh, I see. I see. So they're at one? Yeah, all right. That's fine. <laughs> I accept. Yeah, I was like, I literally had no team. I was literally just testing by myself. Oh, the bottom of the second mic is visible. Wow. All right, there we go. Wow, you're going to put my relic on the top of my library? And you're going to gain seven? Yeah, not a bad turnaround. Not a bad turnaround. So you can make this a 5-5. Five, five. And you go to 10. So you go to... There's only two creatures in the graveyard. Three creatures, I guess. Zaichi with the resub. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, it's... Oh, Vili. Thanks so much for the gifted sub. If he dies, he dies. Travis, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. That is nice to hear. Ugh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they block here. They eat two guys, right? So they go to ten. But they take eight and go to go to two. Then there are two creatures left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven mana next turn, though. Like, yeah, I'd rather just have duplicate to get rid of this guy. 
I, I don't think throwing away a guy here is actually going to get us anywhere. I'd rather duplicate and not tap this guy, though, because then I want to have the, the, the power to... Like, I don't want to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if we hit Mana Crypt, it's actually insane because we can Tooth and Nail, which is pretty nuts. Like, there's a lot of draws that are great here. Tooth and Nail, Mana Crypt, uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Sure. You got it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Yep. Are you coming at me with this? Because that would be funny. I think we still win that, but... Oh, all right. All right, here we go. Hmm... No one hears me sing this song. This is nice because they don't actually they can only they can only go to 12. And we get to just literally they have to block or else they're dead. So that's pretty fantastic. They're also drawing an overgrown tomb when well, they have library, but Oh, all right. I hope I didn't reveal a hand. I clicked it. Ah, I wish I had that Rex Sage. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? About a Rex Sage? I kind of like Beast Within just because it's kind of like a Rex Sage. Kind of. Man. Man, I'm going to keep this hand. I don't think it's terrible. God, if we draw Mana Crypt, though. Oh, I would probably pick opposition over twin, but if you want to draft twin, I can see it. Mike is saying you can see the black spot. Oh, I think this is a while ago. This was 346. Yeah, okay, that was a while ago. Cool, cool, cool. I think we fixed it. Oh, it was, yeah, it was the mic. You could see the mic. Oh, here we go. They're going to show off a little bit. Sure. If you're playing that over a creature, that's fascinating because, you know, you need a creature for it. <sighs> oh, this is by Avacyn's Pilgrim. God, are we just going to lose a game to stupid Avacyn's, to just Avacyn's Pilgrim with Umazawa's Jite on it? Sure. Uh, mouse has been fine, actually. No no real mouse issues. Which is nice. That's nice. Wow, this is why we play Secure Tri-Builder, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was actually, I was really actually distracted there. Secure Tri-Builder is a much better play because we can actually block, sack, and we wouldn't lose the Manglehorn. That is a correct... Yeah, now we're going to go to the next game. We can't beat a Jitte on board. Like, we play Sakura Tribal this turn. They kill it before we actually get the block. They get more counters. Like, yeah, it's pretty brutal. Jitte is just, like, so powerful. I, I, I don't understand why people undervalue it. Like, I guess because they want to do broken stuff, but I think Jitte is actually...
pretty broken on its own. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see how we can crack it next turn. We were going to have... Yeah, but then we look, we still lose Vivian Reed, so it's like playing five mana. And then they already have like a bunch of... Yeah, we're just going to play first. It's fine. Ooh. Well, I mean, we get to seven mana and we're all set. I'm going to keep this hand because of that. Because if we get to seven, we got a game. I know it's ambitious, but our deck has a lot of ramp in it, so... Yeah, it was at least two turns away, which is a lot of damage from a Jitte and also a lot of counters, so. Sure. I like that. All right, we're five. Every game with this guy. I'm just gonna make an eight eight here. If they want to mangle hornet, what what can I do? I mean, they're going to just mangle Hornet, but then they don't get to actually equ equip the Jitte, so. Beast with, no, oh, Abrupt Decay. Fascinating. I will block. Oh, Biscuits. Is it worth attacking here? Yeah, I think so. Come on, red source. One time red source. Yeah, that's a thing. I feel like our decks are so good, and we end up going 2-0-2-0. I've never had the opportunity to zero out the <laughs> Oh, man. You guys are awesome. Travis, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Well, that is a thing. That is a thing. Do we get a red? Oh, my God. We are good at this game. Yep, that's not what we're looking for. We're hoping for Knight or Mana Crypt. And not necessarily a creature that uh, dies to a Jitte. Alright, well, because you guys are maniacs, I can reset the, uh, the goal. Wow, you guys are fantastic. That is unbelievable to me. Yep. Third four? That's pretty ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We really want Mana Crypt right off the top. That'd be great. All right, so you have one counter on here. This is an easy trade because, I mean, they can pump it to a three three, and then we just trade. But then they just have they have a Jitte with two counters, but they've already, they've lost they've lost a creature. But they didn't attack with Primeval Titan. What the hell? <laughs> well, I don't understand that at all. Oh, I guess what, did they just not have anything for this? Oh wow, that's nuts. 
Well, now they can equip that to Primeval Titan, which is very strong. But then we can top deck Knight. Let's do that. Yeah, we can't actually even attack now because then they just make Primeval Titan a 10-10. Let's see. Two zero two. Well, I can't type here. Twenty one nine. All right. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. So this is actually correct. Bing, ding, 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 bing, ding. Mike B is the best. Mike's a good dude. Shut up and take my money. One March meter bug. <laughs> and we're on the board. All right, so we traded Primeval Titan for a Virgis Gear Hulk and a Thrag Tusk. Shut up and we got a beast and a bunch of counters. What part of shut up and take my money did you not understand? I'm trying. I'm literally trying to take it. Do they just take Abrupt Decay or Fatal Push and kill this? I could see that. Oh, they just get Primeval Titan for next turn. Okay. Come on, one time, one time, one time. That's not it. Ugh, these these elves that we're drawing through due to Jitte are so bad. Like it just dies immediately. Like this Jitte is literally like ruining the game for us right now. I'm just gonna pass here. I mean, we just block, because otherwise they get two counters on this, and they get to kill the beast anyway. I'd rather them waste the counter, lose the Eternal Witness, and then only have two counters left, so. Coalition would be great. Coalition Relic would be great. Uh, Mana Crypt would be OP. That's really what we're looking for, so we can go Ulamog into Crater Hoof. That would also be good. Oh, boy. Why would you put this on here? I guess you can pump it and then... That doesn't make any sense. Just put on the Primeval Titan. Yeah, we're going to lose this game just literally because of Jitte. It's pretty sad. Because they don't really have much, but... Yep. I mean, we would have actually been able to deal with Primeval Titan if they couldn't make it a 10-10 or... All right, now 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're not dead. Why don't they pump this? I don't understand what's going on. Like, they're just making really weird decisions. Like, they have, like, 19 mana up, and they're going to, like, not pump this guy. It's kind of weird. It's 
That's actually really good. No, it's not. That's literally the worst land we could have drawn. We actually die because of this land. That's hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. If this was a different land, we could have actually tooth and nailed, put Alesh Norn and like Ulamog into play. Unbelievable. I hate I hate when games are one are like determined by this. Like that's so ridiculous. Any other land would have been great. Literally any land in the deck. That was the only land we could have drawn that just doesn't do anything for us there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys next time.